This is Ascocentrum christensonianum. It is described as an epiphytic monopodial orchid native to lowland forests of Vietnam. It is a vendaceous orchid and like all vandas, it likes things warm to hot. And I am personally growing it as such, although in winter time my grow room does get pretty chilly as low as 17 degrees Celsius. But it seems to be absolutely okay for this orchid. For me it blooms once a year, typically in springtime. I'm uploading this in March, so that makes it the beginning of spring for me, but it might be slightly different for you depending on your environment. The flowers are breathtaking, but they're very, very tiny. I think it's the Vanda with the tiniest flowers, if not the orchid with the tiniest flowers that I have in my collection. Each flower is about one centimeter across. It's a soft, light pink and has no fragrance. The coloration can differ from person to person and from care to care. I find that the more established the orchid is, the better I am on top of fertilizing, the better the flowers as well. But there is also natural variation, so you can expect this orchid to have all shades of pink from very light, almost white pink to a little bit more of a magenta pink. And if you grow it under pink grow lights, it looks even pinkier. I grow my Vendacious Orchids potted, but it's absolutely fine to grow it bare-rooted or mounted as well. It is an epiphyte, so that gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to the potting setup, or the non-potting setup. I water it whenever it's thoroughly dry because it is very, very tolerant to drought, so I can afford to keep it potted in the same medium for longer. Mine has been sitting in the same medium for about three years, but this year it's time to repot since it's already outgrowing her pot. My medium of choice is an organic mix of bark and sphagnum moss, but any type of medium can work if it works for your other epiphytes. I try to give it as much light as possible. It is a vanda and vandas absolutely love strong light, but I grow it strictly under artificial light. It doesn't really get any natural light, and I haven't found this to be detrimental in any way. Furthermore, you can see the pink tinges on the leaves. This is anthocyanin, and in the case of vandas, it is a good sign. It means it receives adequate strong light. I fertilize it together with my other orchids. This will depend on the fertilizer you use. It can be once a week, once a month, once every two weeks. Depends on each fertilizer. But I don't find it has any weird preferences. It is just like any other Vanda, just miniature. I purchased it when it was a very tiny seedling, but in time this orchid can grow pretty tall. Although width-wise it will never grow wider than this. It can produce keikis at the base typically, so it can become a little bit bushier, but in the end this orchid will be tall and pretty narrow. Typically, most of the year I have anywhere between 23 degrees Celsius to 28 or even 30 degrees Celsius in my grow room, and that's absolutely fine for all of my vandas, including the Christensonianum. This orchid does not take a winter rest. Water reduction is purely based on the temperature inside my grow room, which makes water evaporate slower. I keep the schedule. Whenever this orchid is thoroughly dry, I give it a good watering. This happens before the leaves get wrinkly. The time in between waterings absolutely doesn't matter because it will be different for each of us. So there's no point in telling you I water it once a week because that would be false. Bottom line, if you can take care of any Vanda, I don't see how you will have issues with this particular orchid. It behaves like any other typical Vanda, and if you get it as a seedling or already potted, you will have great chances to convert it to a potted system if that's what you're looking for. I have no issues growing it as such, and this year it's warming my heart with two beautiful flower spikes. I think in the future it can create even more than this. It's still a young plant, but I do really, really love it. Even if it's the tiniest flowered orchid that I have. And that's it. See you next time. Bye!